Two years ago at this show, Airbus revealed a, an unusual shape, the blended wing body. It's a design which, of course, everybody's familiar with from the last 30 years in terms of research that's gone on, particularly in the US. McDonnell Douglas uh, originated a similar design. Boeing, of course, has continued research into that. And NASA, of course, has flown the X-48 aircraft experimental demonstrator. So there's no shortage of interest in this shape. What was surprising was that Airbus, in 2019, revealed that it had been flight testing a shape called the Maverick. In 2020, at this very show, it unveiled a version of that shape and said that it was interested in it because it could reduce fuel burn by 20%, they thought, compared to regular tube and wing shaped airliners. Now here we are, 2022, back at the show, and the shape has changed again. It's actually based a really on a merger between that original configuration and something that Airbus really shocked the world with, in a way, in 2020, when it announced that it was going to develop a new generation of hydrogen-fueled, carbon-neutral designs for entry into service in the mid-2030s. Now, we don't know yet whether this could be that airliner or whether it's going to be more a conventional tube and wing-shaped, a bit like a stretched A320, or maybe even a turboprop like a, a new hydrogen-fueled ATR, for example. But what we do know is that they're obviously pursuing this design to taking it to the next level. So let's have a quick look at what we're looking at here. The design itself is the fuselage is extended. There's now two windows here and additional realistic looking cabin windows. It's an A350 style cockpit. There's, there's still windows or transparencies on the upper fuselage, the surface of it. But what's most interesting is the fact that there's now a revision back to these twin-podded turbofan engines integrated with vertical tails. It also includes this larger swept wing with an A350 style uh, sharklet. And there's some interesting noise reduction features around the engine inlet. For example, the scarfing of the inlet for reduced noise emanating above the, the, the flat deck and also around the tail where you can see the, the nozzle area is also treated for low noise. The design also seems to have some treatments for boundary layer ingestion. This will be uh, very important for a design like this where a lot of the flow going into the inlet could theoretically disturb the fan as it's uh, in the front of the engine. So we'll be interested to see how Airbus will tackle that in future. But overall, it shows that the BWB concept, certainly as far as Airbus is concerned, and the way that it's projected here in the zero E configuration, is something that they continue to take seriously. So this is Guy Norris reporting from the Singapore Air Show.